the cold temperatures catching many by surprise after a short stint of spring like temperatures and sunshine that can be deceptive. We've had actually some really significant cold snaps. Kent East Hill Nursery among those taking action as winter's impact grows. Cover your plants that you can't move, especially with some basically frost protection cloth. Um, and it basically acts like a hat for your plants because you know what a hat makes a big difference. It gets real cold real quickly if you don't have a hat on and it's the same way for plants too. So make sure your plants have a hat. All across Western Washington this week came reminders that winter is not done yet. As you work to keep warm to get through this cold snap, it's crucial to use space heaters safely. If you have those that it's not near any combustibles, that means couches, a towel, make sure it's not near curtains, make sure it's you know not near anything that has that potential. That reminder coming amid record cold for this day in history. SeaTac dropping to 22 degrees, breaking a record of 24 set for this day in 2011. The temperatures bringing forecasted ice. This winter season, you also want to check your smoking carbon monoxide detectors. Prepare for the wind chill expected this weekend, packing a punch despite how bright the sun shines. And if you've taken a look at your heating bill and you want to try to keep that number down the next time around, there are a couple of tips that you can keep in mind from Seattle City Light. They say that you want to try to make sure that you keep your home insulated and weatherized. Make sure that you prevent cold from coming in. Program your thermostat so it turns down when you aren't home. And every degree makes a difference. Seattle City Light says for every degree you turn it down, your bill will drop 2 to 5%. They recommend around 65 to 68 degrees when you're home and around 55 degrees when you're not. Live in Seattle, Erica Zucco, King 5 News.